The World Series of Bowling has been very good to Bill O'Neill. He won two of his three career titles here, including his very first, the 2009 Chameleon Championship. I told you guys at home I'd get one. I told you. And then one year later, he climbed from the bottom rung of the stepladder finals to capture the Pepsi Viper Championship. Today, Bill will attempt to add another animal pattern to his collection of World Series victories. Once again, trying to claw his way up from the bottom of the stepladder in the Alka Seltzer Plus Cold Cheetah Championship. Can the real deal get past these three rivals, including number one seed Mike Wolf, to capture career title number four? Find out next as the World Series of Bowling rolls on here in Las Vegas. The first PBA title of the season is up for grabs today at the Geico PBA World Series of Bowling. This is the Cheetah Championship from South Point Hotel and Casino. I'm Lon McCarran with Randy Peterson and Kimberly Pressler, and we're looking forward to some great matches. For the player introductions, here is public address announcer Mike J. The number four player is a former PBA Rookie of the Year with three PBA Tour titles. The 2010 U.S. Open winner from Langhorne, Pennsylvania. He's the real deal, Bill O'Neill. The number three qualifier has 10 PBA Regional victories, four career PBA Tour second place finishes from Avon, Ohio, CeeLo, Chris Loschetter. The number two player owns eight Michigan Majors titles, won the first ever World Series of Bowling Sweeper event in 2009 from Dearborn, Michigan, Jeff Roach. The tournament leader has five PBA regional wins and four PBA Tour titles from New Albany, Indiana, Mike Wolf. Let's take a look at our stepladder match number one between the fourth seed, Bill O'Neill, taking on Christian Loeschetter. Mike Wolf is the number one seed tonight, just has to bowl once for a title. Should be a lot of fun, Randy. Sir, just one win. That's all it takes for Mike Wolf. Let's talk about oil patterns, Juana. Sure. Bowling on the Cheetah oil patterns, the shortest of all the named animal patterns, but it's the highest scoring. Lots of friction to the outside part of the lane. The players will do that to get the bowling balls to check up and hook into the pocket. Bill O'Neill, the real deal, ready to get us started. He'll begin on the left lane of this cheetah pattern. Three PBA titles, one major U.S. Open in 2010. Last season had eight top ten finishes, three of those in majors. <laughs> And O'Neill can't get them all. Bill O'Neill qualified 16th. He got the last spot and went from 16th to 4th with a 279 last game just to get into the telecast. This ball drifts just a pinch high. Leaves the four. O'Neill, number 506 PBA Rookie of the Year, cleans it up and opens with a spare. And that will bring to the approach big Chris Loeschetter, 32 years old from Avon, Ohio, 10th PBA season, still looking for his first title. Nineteen perfect games in his career for Loeschetter. And he got that! Oh! A messenger in the first frame, and he's in line for his 20th perfect game still. <laughs> and if ever you were to pull for a player out on tour to win his first title, it would be Chris Loeschetter. Well, 10 seasons without a PBA win would frustrate anyone, right? I, I was, you know, for a while, and, and now um, I just bowl, you know, and the guys out here are so good, and, you know, I'm one of those guys I feel that I bowl good almost all the time but I don't have that one characteristic that lets me, you know, dominate. Uh, and with two-handed bowling now and a lot of the power players doing well, I've had to make a lot of adjustments to, you know, hang in there. And, um, you know, I'm blessed that I get to do this for a living, so I can't complain, you know. I get to bowl for a living. 
We have a great uh, family and community out here, and uh, you know it'll come, um, but it does no good to stress over it. Well, it seems that Lowshedder has the right attitude about it, Randy. Great guy, great game, very well deserving. It's just a matter of when will this guy break through that first title. Double to open for Loesch. Loesch! <laughs> nice pitch there, sir. So Loeschetter opens up with a double. Now Bill O'Neill steps up to the right lane. He's spared in the first frame after leaving the four pin. Takes him down on the right side. There is his wife, Christy, pregnant and due in February with the couple's first child. Former uh, champ O'Neill has been struggling to regain top form, offered up a somewhat surprising admission to us when discussing this fact. Just recently, I've, I've realized that uh, I'm a little bit of a head case. So uh, what I started doing was uh, just thinking about one thing when I bowl, and that's what I did during the, the, uh, the last six games in Cheetah. I just think about one thing when I get up on the approach, and that's it. And it kind of keeps my, my, my body calm and, uh, and my mind calm as well, just not having so many things go, go through my head. Uh, so I think that, that's the, the big key for me now when I need you know, shots and pressure situations is, is just focusing on one thing and, and just going. Bill O'Neill trying to overcome his shortcomings, as he says, mentally. On the left side. Yeah, that'll do it. He's got a great game, keeps himself in great shape, works out in the gym. Also works with Coach Mark Baker. He's got to exercise those demons and get back to the upper echelon of this league. And even match right now. Low shedder back in the attack zone. Low shedder is still perfect. Loose. I just can't say that enough. <laughs> Using an aura. Because he's got a little aura about him, you know what I mean? He does indeed. Hooking his ball in his bag. 142 PBA events without a title. That is the third most all time. Very focused this week. A huge opportunity here in the Cheetah Championship. He knows what he's doing tonight, Randy. Well, he, there's a lot of. Uh... A lot of obstacles in front of him. He's got to win three matches on television, get through some pretty good players, but it's one shot at a time, one game at a time, and throw a lot of shots like this. You notice the TR patch on Lowshedder, all the players wearing that in honor of a fallen champion, former PBA champion, Tony Reyes, who passed away last September. Now O'Neill down 20, not anymore. O'Neill keeping step with Low Shedder. And now for today's Cold Truth, brought to you by Alka Seltzer Plus Cold. Heading into this year's Geico World Series of Bowling, Bill O'Neill ranked third all time in money earned at the World Series with almost 120,000. Let's take a look back at his two victories here, starting with the very first PBA title of his career, the 09 Chameleon Championship. It was a long time coming for O'Neill, who was the 2005-2006 Rookie of the Year. Then a year later, O'Neill came from the bottom of the stepladder, getting past Amleto Monticelli, Mike Devaney, Tommy Jones, and Andres Gomez to win the Pepsi Viper Championship. So O'Neill seeking the fourth PBA title of his career today. He, of course, also won the 2010 U.S. Open. Here he is at the top of the fifth working on a double. Damn. 
The fans love it here at South Point. Bill O'Neill and Chris Loeschetter putting on a great show. Only O'Neill's spare in the first. A blemish on the scorecard right now. Cheetah living up to its reputation. Early on, lots of strikes. Eight out of nine shots thrown have struck. Now, Loeschetter, winner of 10 regional titles, grew up in juniors with Bill O'Neill. They've known each other for the longest time. A boldy gets each other forever, and Loeschetter remains perfect. Five in a row for Chris Loeschetter. Great ball roll. He opens that hand at the bottom of the swing. A little bent elbow to create some revs. Solid, solid game for Chris Loeschetter. Seven championship appearances for Loeschetter. He has finished second three times. And he make it six in a row. Still a chance, no! He caught a break earlier with a long distance messenger. This one did not have enough mustard on it. It looked like he had just a little issue right, at, right as he was letting go of it, like he didn't catch it all, like he came up and out of the shot just a little bit. A little unlucky that the messenger didn't take the 10 out. And he opens up. Oh, my goodness. Better position, brother. Better position than that. So after starting off so quickly with five straight strikes, Loeschetter opens in the sixth, opens the door for Bill O'Neill. 